Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we also get our Windows 11 Patch Tuesday security updates rolling out for September of 2024. And that would be for Windows 11 versions 22H2 and 23H2. And the update for this month is KB5043076. Now, because this update is a mandatory compulsory security update, once the update has been applied, if we just head over to Winver about Windows quickly, yeah, we can see that for Windows 11 version 23H2, the OS build after the update has been applied is bumped up to 22631.4169. And if you are still running version 22H2, that'll be bumped up to 22621.4169. Now, first of all, the update addresses security issues for Windows 11. Now, just to go through these quickly, uh, there are 30 vulnerabilities that have been patched for Windows 11. So that's one more than Windows 10. But it also patches the same critical vulnerability we spoke about over on Windows 10, which is a highest rank vulnerability. And there are also 29 important vulnerabilities that have been fixed. There were 27 over on Windows 10. And that critical vulnerability is Windows Network Address Translation Remote Code Execution Vulnerability. So 30 vulnerabilities in total one critical and at this stage there's no mention if that is a zero day or not um, if that does change then i'll let you know but at this stage it's just listed as a critical now over and above the security fixes that have rolled out um, for kb5043076 the security update also includes the improvements that were part of this update kb5041587 which was the optional bug fix C release update that rolled out towards the end of August last month. So if you didn't install this update, then those fixes, improvements, and also one new feature will be carried over into this update. Now, I did post a video on KB5041587, um, and I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen if you would like some more information. But just a quick recap for the purpose of this video, and I'm just going to mention the new feature because I actually posted a whole video on this where it enables you to now share content to your Android device from the Windows Share window. And um, I'll also leave a link to the video I posted on that down below and in the end screen because it will give you all the information you would need about that new feature. And there were five fixes that rolled out for the File Explorer, uh, just squashing some File Explorer bugs, which is always a good thing in Windows 11 as far as I'm concerned. And then we had two accessibility improvements that rolled out, one for narrator and one for voice access. And then the widgets, there was an update that rolled out to the widgets board to improve the security and the APRs for created widgets and feeds for users in the EEA regions. So that will only uh, be exclusive to the EEA regions as mentioned. And there were nine other bug fixes which were taking place under the hood. But go check that video out if you want more info. And I'll also uh, leave the video um, for you to watch that enables you to now share content to your Android phone. Those will all be linked down below and in the end screen. So that's it, guys. That's more or less for this month. What's new? In our September B release update for Windows 11, KB5043.76. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.